Hallelujah. People of God, welcome to CurseBreak.com. Evangelist from the press here. It is such a great blessing to come to you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope you're having a blessed day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today is Monday the 19th. Praise the Lord. And we're beginning a brand new prayer chain online for this week. Hallelujah. I'm so excited to come to your home tonight to stand with all of you in prayer. Believing God for your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, the people of God. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. The people of God, I just want to say hello to every one of you that may be watching us tonight for the very first time. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to pray, to stand with us. Amen. In prayer. Uh, what a great joy. For those who follow our prayer chain online, been following us online, thank you again for taking your time to stand with us. This week is exciting. We have a lot of awesome things to pray for. I'm so excited about this week's prayer chain online. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, people of God. Let me share with you what we're going to be praying for tonight. Amen. If you have not have the chance to watch our video, uh, or sing on our, if you haven't seen our website yet, or what we're going to be praying for, here is uh, what we're going to be praying for tonight. Tonight we're praying specifically, our prayer target tonight is prayer for household salvation. Amen. That's what we're going to be praying for tonight. I want to pray with you. I want to stand with you in the name of Jesus. Believe in God for your family, for your family members that is not saved yet to come into the kingdom. Amen. Tonight we're going to be praying uh, specifically okay, for their salvation. I'm going to be praying also that God will remove the spirit of blindness, everything that hinders them to come into the kingdom. Amen. Uh, we're going to be praying, standing in the promise of God tonight. Amen. Uh, one of the things that I love about our prayer chain online is that we target different areas in prayer. Amen. There are certain prayers, people of God understand one thing. Uh, when you're praying for salvation of your loved ones, you're praying for your breakthroughs, you have to be specific. Amen. You have to hit the bullseye. You have to hit the target. You can't just pray, you know, like start shooting everywhere. You have to know what you're praying for. Amen. And you have to pray. You have to target, you know, uh, for what you're praying for. Amen. And uh, and that's what we're going to be praying tonight. Amen. When it comes to salvation, amen, salvation of loved ones, salvation in general, you know, there, the Bible talks about, uh, there's a passive scripture uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, in verse uh, chapter 4 verse 4 the Bible says the God of this age which is Satan amen the God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ who is the image of God amen that's what the Bible says. And so we have to pray specifically. Amen. We have to pray that the blindness, the Bible says that the, 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 the God's age, which is Satan, has blinded literally people of God. If you could see in the spiritual realm, okay, you would see people all over the earth, okay, people that are not serving God, they have a blindness in their eyes. That's why some of you, you know, you get tired, you get frustrated, even praying for your loved ones. You know, it sometimes it seems that 
They can see the truth right in front of their eyes and they can see why because there's a veil over their eyes and you have to know how to pray. You have to target that veil. You have to target that thing in prayer. Say, God, I want this thing to be to, to be removed from their eyes. I want this thing to be removed from their lives. The, the blindness that Satan has brought into their eyes, the spirit of blindness that hinders them to see the truth, I come against this thing in prayer, and I want to see this thing being removed from their lives so that they can come into your kingdom. Amen. You can't just pray, Lord, bless my, you know, it's okay if you want to pray that way. Okay, but it's not effective. Oh, Lord, just bless my son. Just bless my daughter. Just bless my husband. Just bless my wife. If, they, if you're praying for their salvation, be specific with your prayer. Don't just pray, Lord, bless them. Okay, the greatest blessing that can happen is the blindness of their eyes to be removed. How many of you agree? Amen. So that's what we're praying for tonight. That the blindness, the spirit of blindness will come out of their eyes. That they'll be able to see the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If you have the picture of your family, if you're praying for your loved ones tonight with us, and you are believing God for your family to be saved, if you have a, a, a way of getting a picture that represents your family, get in your hand, and I want you to look at that picture and say, Satan, you will not have my family. I stand as an intercessor, I stand as a child of God, and I say, no, you will not kill, you will not steal, you are not going to destroy my family. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, people of God, let's pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. Would you please join me in prayer right now? Let's just pray. Let's call upon His name. I would ask you, please, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, put your full attention in Jesus Christ. Your miracle, your deliverance, your breakthrough comes from Jesus, okay, and from Him alone. So put your full attention in Him, put your eyes on the Lord and call upon His name. Don't allow anything to hinder or to distract you from praying with us tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Let's call upon His name right now. Would you join me in prayer? Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus, we come before you right now Father, it's such a great joy and such a great honor, Lord, to come, Lord, to my brother, my sister, Lord, through this broadcast tonight to pray, Lord, to stand with all of them. Lord, tonight we are on our first night of our prayer chain online, and tonight we are calling upon your name. Father, on behalf of our loved ones, on behalf, Lord, of our family members, Lord, on behalf, Lord, of our household, we are asking you tonight, Lord Jesus, Lord, that you have mercy. First of all, Lord, we ask you, have mercy on our loved ones. Have mercy, Lord, on our family members. Have mercy. Lord, we ask, Lord, we stand in the place of prayer. We stand in the gap tonight as your people. Lord, praying, calling upon your name on behalf of our loved ones. Father, you know each one of them by name. You know, Father, the ones that is so far away from you. Father, there's not one that is too far away that you cannot save. God, I thank you for each one of my brother and my sister praying right now, calling upon your name, crying on behalf of their, uh, of their uh, family members. Father, some of them, Lord, they're praying, Lord, for their husbands. Some of them, they're praying for their wives. Some of them, they're praying for their children that is so far away from you. Father, I'm praying tonight. I'm asking God that you release your anointing to touch your people. Father God, I have nothing to give to your people unless it comes from heaven. Father, I'm 
asking you tonight, Lord, for the anointing that brings deliverance to the captives. I'm praying, Lord, for the anointing, Lord, that breaks the strongholds of the devil. I'm praying, Lord, for the anointing, Lord, that brings transformation, Lord, to the sons and daughters, the ones that, Lord, is far away from you. Father, I'm asking you, also according to your word in Hebrews 1 14 your word declares that your angels they are ministering spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation Lord our family members they are heirs of salvation Lord I pray release your angels on their behalf my brother my sister you call your loved ones by name you you, you mention them to the Lord you tell the, the Lord which one you're praying for come on people of God you pray. I'm praying with you. You pray for yourself. You call them by name in Jesus' name. Lift up your family members. Lift them up to the Lord. Ask the Lord to touch them tonight. Father, I'm praying with each one of them, Lord, as they mention, Lord, in prayer, Lord, the name of the person, the name of the family members they are praying for, Lord, I am in agreement with them, and right now, I'm asking, Lord, that you release your mighty angels on behalf of each family member they are lifting up in prayer right now, Lord, I'm asking, Lord, for angels of deliverance to be released on their behalf, Lord, I'm asking, Lord, for angels, Father, of breakthroughs angels that carries deliverance Lord to surround them as a wall of fire and every assignment of Satan Lord of premature death every assignment Father of confusion every assignment of the enemy to bring into this family member Lord a, a messed up people Lord a, a people sent by the devil to mess with their life every assignment of the enemy concerning this loved one we say devil lose your power lose your assignment every spirit every snare of the enemy Lord to kill to steal and to destroy the life of this loved one we say devil we bind your power we bind your assignment we bind every strategy of Satan and his demons concerning our loved ones father I'm asking you right now for your angels to be released let your angels be like a wall of fire around them Lord those who are Lord in danger right now those father who are Lord so far away some of them they are so bound up, Lord, by drugs. Some of them, Lord, the enemy wants to kill them, Lord, with an overdose. Some of them, Lord, the enemy wants to kill them, Lord, in car accidents. Some of them, the enemy wants to kill them, Father, on, Lord, addictions, drug addictions. Lord, some of them, Father, they, the enemy wants to kill them, Lord, and in so many ways, Father, every assignment of the enemy, Lord, concerning this son, concerning this daughter, concerning, Lord, this uncle, concerning concerning this aunt, concerning, Lord, the, the father, the mother, the grandparents, Lord, every family member, Lord, we ask, Lord, for a hedge of, Lord, a hedge of protection, and every snare of death, we say, broken off in Jesus' name, broken off by the power of the Holy Ghost, broken in Jesus' mighty name, Father, we are asking, as your people, we stand in the place of prayer on behalf of their family my brother my sister now is the time for us to pray let's pray right now in the through the power of prayer right now for the spirit of blindness to come off their eyes every scale every everything that they have placed in their eyes that hinders them to see the truth right now just ask God to set his fire right now right on their eyes the fire that purifies every blindness, every spirit of blindness that hinders your sons and daughters, that hinders your family member to know the truth, to come to the truth. And let's ask God to break that thing by fire. Father, we are asking right now, Lord, there's power in agreement. There's power, Father, Lord, as your people, Lord, as the body comes together in prayer. And so, Lord, right now, we join our faith together. We come against the spirit of 
blindness, every spirit of blindness that's been assigned, Lord, to hinder this man, to hinder this woman, Lord, to know the truth, to come into the truth. Lord, the Bible declares that the God of this age, Satan, Lord, has blinded the mind of the unbeliever. So right now we come against the blindness that Satan has put in their eyes. Every spirit of blindness, everything that corrupts them, everything, Lord, that keeps them ensnared, that keeps them trapped in sin, everything, that, Lord, that creates them, Lord, uh, that, that pushes them away, Lord, into darkness. Every spirit of darkness, the spirit, of, Lord, of blindness, confusion, everything that hinders, Lord, the family members to come into the knowledge of your son, Jesus. We say, loose them in Jesus' name. We ask, Lord, right now for fire to fall wherever there is a loved one, wherever this person that we're praying for is. Right now, we ask, Lord, for, for the fire. Let them, Lord, feel the fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit burning away, Lord, the scales, burning away, Father, the, 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 the blindness, burning away the veil. Lord, we come against the veil of blindness, the veil of blindness, Lord, that Satan has put in their eyes. We say, break it off in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we come against the spirit, Lord, of rebellion. We come against the spirit of stubbornness. We come against the spirit of, Lord, of addiction. We come against the spirit of confusion. We come against the spirit, Father, of this world that have got, Lord, a grip on this loved one. We say, loose in Jesus' name. Loose in Jesus' name. Father, we call every loved one, each loved one, into your kingdom. We declare, Father, your word declare, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll be saved in all your household. And so we declare that us and our household will serve you. We declare that they will live and they're not, not going to die. We declare Father that they are coming into your kingdom. We declare Father even for those who are backslidden, those who are grew, those who grew up in church, those who had a, a Lord a relationship at one point, Lord, and they walked away for whatever reason. Lord, we ask that you heal them. We ask that you restore them. We ask you Lord, that they will, Lord, that they will come back, Lord, into the first love, the first love that they had, and everything that hinders them, that keeps them in captivity. We say broken off in Jesus' name. Every spiritual captivity, a spiritual prison, a spiritual snare, we say loose in Jesus' name. Loose in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we lift up my brother, my sister. We ask you for your kingdom to come, for your will to be done. We ask you, Lord, for Holy Ghost fire. Let the Holy Spirit, Lord, we ask you for the fire of the Holy Spirit to bring transformation, to bring salvation. Father, we declare declare salvation. We declare that this year is the year of salvation. Those who are so far away, those who are so deep, Lord, in the occult, those who are so deep in sin, those who are so deep in addiction, those who are so deep, Lord, in prostitution, those who are so deep, Father, in, in Lord, in their pride, those who are so deep, Lord, in the, the things of the enemy, Lord, we ask, Lord, right now, Lord, that you set them free. We ask you for the powers of the enemy to be destroyed in every network. Lord, we pray specifically right now that every network of demons that is working 24-7, Lord, uh, to destroy this family member, we ask, Lord, for fire to fall into the camp of the enemy and to bring the enemy, Lord, into confusion. Let the enemy, Lord, uh, destroy their own plans. Let them fall into their own snares. We command the every network of devils to be destroyed. Their power, their assignment, Lord, to be brought to ashes in your precious name. We call them into your kingdom. We ask, Lord, that you heal them. We ask you that you deliver them. We ask, Lord, that you set them free, that you raise them up to be such a testimony in your hand. We thank you, God, for what you're doing tonight. We declare freedom. We we declare wholeness. We declare deliverance. Father, I'm praying as well, Lord, that you remove. Lord, we're praying. I'm praying, Lord, of my brother, my sister. I'm praying with this father, with this mother. I'm 
pregnant, Lord, with them. Lord, we declare that every one of the loved ones that they are praying for, every one of them, that they that, that, that they have wrong people, Lord, manipulating and controlling their lives. Every person that Satan has sent on their way to hinder them to come into God's kingdom, we ask God, remove those people from their lives. Lord, that every unholy alliance between this loved one and ungodly people, people that's been used by Satan to mess with them, to control them, to manipulate them, Lord, to destroy them, we declare in Jesus' mighty name that unholy alliance, Lord, every unholy alliance, every soul ties with them, with wrong people, we say be broken in Jesus' name. We ask for your fire to fall and to destroy every unholy alliance. Lord, every demonic relationship they are bound to. We ask you to deliver them. We ask God remove this we're praying specifically tonight. Remove the wrong people from their lives and bring the godly people into their lives. We call forth from the north, from the south, from the east and west. We call into their lives godly people people that will be a blessing into them people that will help them people that will point them in the right direction people that will disciple them people that will counsel them people that will speak into them people that will be Lord in your hug people that will love look at them in the eyes and, and release words of affirmation and uh, words of life and destiny over them we ask you God Bring those people into their path and remove the wrong ones, the ones that Satan has sent on their way to mess with them. We declare in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, for what you're doing. My brother, my sister, just receive. God is touching your loved ones. Father, we command that every... Uh, relationship. I'm praying, Lord, now specifically for my brother, Lord, and my sister, Lord, and for their family member. Every wall that the enemy have built over the years, every wall, Lord, of division, every wall of separation, Lord, every wall, Lord, that hinders them to communicate with one another, to receive from one another, everything that hinders, Lord, relationship, Lord, to, that hinders love to flow in this family. Family, we declare broken. We command the spirit, Lord, every familiar spirit, Lord, every spirit of confusion, every spirit, Lord, uh, Lord, of fight and confusion and disrespect. We declare to be bound. We ask, Lord, for a cleansing to come in this family. We ask, Lord, for the wind of your spirit to bring, Lord, a cleansing into this household. We ask for deliverance to come. We ask, Lord, for victory to come. Hallelujah. Even as I'm praying, I'm seeing a mother. You're praying for your child. I see a child that's been so re bound by rebellion. The Lord is touching your child right now. Lord, I declare, Lord, every one of them, th those who have, Lord, uh, uh, children, those who have loved ones, bound by rebellion, the spirit of rebellion we come against. The spirit of rebellion, we bind the spirit of rebellion. We command the rebellion to lose its power, to lose its hold on this family member. We ask, Lord, uh, that you open their eyes. We ask that you open their ears. We ask Ask, Lord, that you give them a desire for righteousness, a desire to love you, a desire to fall in love with you, a desire to serve you with all their hearts. We Bind the spirit of rebellion, the spirit, Lord, of the world in your precious mighty name. Thank you, God, for what you're doing. We bless you tonight. We thank you for what you're doing tonight. We declare victory. My brother, my sister, just raise your hand to heaven and just declare salvation over your household. Father, we thank you for salvation tonight. We thank you, God, for salvation. We thank you, Lord, for deliverance. We thank you, Lord, for healing. We thank you, God, for restoration. We bless you. 
you. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. We worship you, Jesus. We thank you, God, for your goodness. Lord, we bless you. Lord, as your people, we ask you, God, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in our lives, in our family. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness. We thank you for redemption. We thank you, Lord, for restoration. We thank you, God, for unity. We thank you, God, for our families. We declare that us for me and my house will serve you, Lord. We declare, Lord, that our family, Lord, will serve you, that they will serve you in your house. We declare, Lord, for every one of them, Lord, I pray, Lord, that they will be able to step into their destiny, whatever calling they have, that they have in their lives, they will fulfill their destiny, they will fulfill their calling, some of them are called to be ministers, we declare they will be a ministers in your house, we declare some of them, Lord, whatever calling that they have, I pray that they will step into their calling, in your precious mighty name, thank you God for what you're doing, my brother, my sister, just raise your hand, and just worship the Lord, thank the Lord for what he's doing, hallelujah, thank the Lord for what he's doing in your family right now, just receive right now, empowerment I just sense the fire of the Holy Spirit, just receive I declare over you the fire of the Holy Spirit, just open your hand, Father I'm asking for your fire to fall right now, let the fire of the Holy Spirit I pray that you baptize each one of them, Lord with the Holy Spirit and fire, I'm asking Lord for the fire of the Holy Spirit to fall, for the anointing of the the Holy Spirit to fall, for the power that restores to fall upon my brother, my sister. Lord, I thank you, Lord. Empower them. Strengthen your people tonight. Lord, raise each one of us, Lord, to be a testimony in your hand. We thank you for what you're doing. My brother, my sister, receive. I declare a new anointing over your life. I declare that the, I, I see, hallelujah, Thank you, Father. I see some, the Lord is taking. Some of you, 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 you feel so worn out. You feel so discouraged. And I see the Lord removing even his changing your garments. He's putting a, a new garment. He's clothing with new garments. He's giving you strength tonight. I declare, Father, I pray, Lord, remove that which is old and bring the new into my brother, my sister. I declare a new day. I declare a new season. I declare, I prophesy victory over my brother, my sister, and every one of them been worn out. They've been tired. Lord, they've been fighting too much. I pray that they'll be able to rest. I pray Lord they will be able to receive his strength to rest. Lord, rest in their minds. Lord, I pray Lord that you give them the ability to rest that their mind will be at peace. Lord, I declare the anointing falling upon each one of them in restoring them, the restoring in them the ability to rest, the ability Lord to trust, the ability Father even to sleep at night. Father, I bless my my brother, I bless my sister in your precious mighty name. If you receive people of God, say amen. Say, I receive in Jesus' name. Just raise your hand and begin to worship the Lord. Come on. Just worship the Lord for what He's doing in your life. Just worship the Lord for what He's doing. People of God, Father, we worship you. We bless you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for tonight. We thank you, Lord. Your word declares that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for baptizing us with joy. My brother, my sister, receive joy. Come on, just receive the joy of the Lord. I declare that bitterness. I declare that sorrow is gone. And I declare joy. I declare a new day over you. In Jesus' mighty name. And every spirit of oppression. Every spirit of depression. Every spirit of sorrow. Every spirit of bitterness. You go, foul spirit, in Jesus' name. Every heaviness. Every weight. Everything that is affecting them, Lord, from the outside. Every spiritual oppression from hell. We read 
built in Jesus name and we release the joy father I release as a minister of the gospel called by you to set the captives free I release the joy the joy of their salvation I release the joy of the Lord I declare joy I declare hope I declare strength coming upon your people to do your will I pray for the strength they need to do your will to walk in your will not to give up not to look back I declare people of God you will not look back you're not gonna give up you're not gonna go back to the past you're not gonna go back into the old life you're gonna continue to press in I declare strength coming upon you to walk in the will of heaven I bless you as your brother in Christ I bless you and I bless you in Jesus mighty name if you receive say I receive in Jesus name name hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord thank you Jesus we bless you we bless you we bless you we bless you my brother my sister just repeat this prayer with all your heart would you just repeat this prayer after me say Lord Jesus I thank you so much for your faithfulness say Jesus thank you for touching my family say Jesus I lift up my family to you. Thank you for what you're doing tonight. I surrender my family to you. You're the only one that can bring transformation into my family. Say, Jesus, I thank you for touching my family. I surrender my life to you. Say, Jesus, forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me. Wash me clean through your precious blood say Jesus come into my heart be my Savior and my Lord change my life for the glory of your name say Jesus raise me up to be a testimony in your hand say Jesus be glorified in my family Lord Jesus bring transformation to my family and raise us up to be a testimony, to glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. I receive my miracle by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, the people of God. Now, I want you to open your hand and let me pray this final prayer over you right now in Jesus' name. Would you just open your hand and let me pray this final prayer over you. My dear brother and my dear sister, the Lord bless you. And the Lord keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you. And be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you. And give you peace. My brother, my sister, I bless you. I bless your household. I bless your household. I declare a new day. I declare a new season. I prophesy restoration. I declare and I decree restoration. I declare salvation. I declare salvation in your household. I declare that which Satan intended for evil. I declare being changed. I declare being shifted to glorify the Lord. I bless you and I bless your household. If you receive a Say amen. Say I receive in Jesus' name. Amen. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Just somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. People of God, what a great joy. Just I want you to stand in faith, people of God. Just know that God is touching your family, that God is touching your heart, that God is restoring, our God is in the business of restoration. Amen. God loves to get broken vessels to glorify Him. Amen. So just believe that the Lord is doing a mighty work in your family tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. People of God, it's been such a great joy and a great honor to be able to pray and to stand with all of you tonight. What a great joy. I know that the Lord is doing something awesome tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord, the people of God. I look forward again 
to pray with all of you on Wednesday. Amen. Wednesday, this Wednesday, we're going to be praying for jobs and we're praying for financial stability. I look forward to pray with all of you. Amen. Praise God. People of God, if you've been blessed by our deliverance ministry online, if you've been blessed by our prayer chain online, please help me to get the word out. Amen. Help me to you know to to share the word to invite people to this broadcast amen i call, i count with your help and also if the lord is blessing you if you have the condition please make a donation of any amount to help my online ministry i count with your help people of god i count with your help if you have the condition please go to my website cursebreak.com and make a donation uh, you know, online, or you can mail in your donation. I count with your help. Amen. As you sow, you're helping my wife and I to continue to come to you and to be a blessing to you and your family. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. People of God, I love you. Been a great blessing to be able to pray with you tonight. If you have a praise report, amen. If you have a prayer request, feel free to send it to us. Love you, people of God. Have a wonderful night. And don't forget that the best days of your life is still ahead of you as you continue to surrender your life to the will of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you, people of God. And I'll see you Wednesday. Bye for now.